Good morning guys, welcome back to Vlogvember. I don't have lost count now, I've done too many. It's the 8th today. 8th today, so this is my... This is your 8th, isn't it? Well, I started on the 31st. Oh, I see. And this That's would be ninth. my ninth. This is my ninth mm. Vlogvember, there we go. Have you been watching them? I have. What do you think? <laughs> I know you like keeping up with your son. I love watching you, so... <laughs> We usually watch you before we go to bed. Yeah, and now you'll be watching yourself. I know, well that's just one day's part, time. But... Everyone loves you though, and even when we bumped into Brogan, and Brogan said unprompted, oh, she was like, you're dear. brilliant on camera, didn't she? <laughs> didn't she? <laughs> She must have muck in her eyes as my mum would say. <laughs> you are though, everyone uh, likes to hear from you and you're so glam. Guess how old she is, guys? Stop it! <laughs> you're ridiculous. You're not. Mum's in her 60s, can you believe that? I'm just... Ridiculous. Oh, yeah, but yeah, are you enjoying Vlogvember? I am, yeah. Well, it's very good. good, I like it. Yeah. I'm when it finishes. <laughs> <laughs> I am nosy. Yeah. I'm nosy, but, you know. Yeah. Mum loves influencers, don't you? <laughs> like who? Like me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not so keen at talking about <laughs> 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 Who do you like? <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think who I follow. Stacey Solomon. No, I don't follow her. I sometimes oh. look at her. The Yorkshire oh, Shepherdess. Yeah, I'm trying to think who I follow. Oh, um, Sarah Davies from Dragon's Den. I quite okay. like watching her, although she's a workaholic. Okay. And, um, she's going to wear herself out. <laughs> although she's a workaholic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who else? These are all on Instagram, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. 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 That's your favourite platform. Well, it's just easy watching, isn't it? Yeah. I follow We Are Winter Garden in What's Florida. That? Oh, which Winter is where Garden. We go yeah. cycling and Dr. Sarah Berry from the Zoe Research Study, the Orchard Dales. I love looking yeah. at the Orchard Dales and the Peak District. Uh huh. Alex yeah. Jones. Oh, I follow this lady. Yeah. <laughs> this is really weird, but she's a, she's a young girl. Okay. And her Insta is teapots and tablecloths, and she is she's stuck in a time warp. She's a young mum with two young children, but she lives a sort of forties lifestyle like it was during the war. It's really quite. Yeah. It just takes you back. You showed me that. It's a bit weird. That is weird because she's about your age, I think, with two yeah. little children, and she dresses like my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny. Yeah. It's, it, it, the things she looks at and does reminds me of. Childhood, really. Yeah. Not that I, mean, I was born no, in the 40s, yeah. but um, my nan was. So, yeah. yeah. Nancy so, Burt. Who's that? Who won British Bake Off in 2014. Okay. And she's now gone green. And she. Oh. What, her um, colour? No. <laughs> <laughs> she uses all sorts of eco friendly okay. um, cleaning products and washing, you know, washing soda. She, I saw the other day she was using ivy leaves. Um, yeah. And you soak them and cut them up, and they work as a detergent. Oh wow! So I've bought her books. I'm going to give them a go. So she's not just sustainable. Always... She's actually like she uses nature. Yeah, she does. Lucy got these things, these powder capsules that you dissolve in water, and it becomes detergent. Oh, really? And it's supposed to be so you don't have to. You just buy one plastic bottle, yes. and then you buy these uh, powders, and then they add water to it, and it becomes a detergent. But I don't know if I believe it's strong enough. Well, I've stopped using the plastic pouches because I think you're releasing plastic every time you wash into oh yeah in your clothes system. so yeah and into what you know wastewater and stuff oh, so I, I know I've gone back to buying washing yeah liquid and I just oh my goodness I, mean, I love beeping people <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, anyway, okay. just without the plastic. Yeah. But I would like to, I, yeah. When I get a moment, I will try some of these remedies, I think. Yeah, so, it's good to be a bit yeah. more eco. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, we're off to Haskins now. We're gonna go get some cake and coffee and just have a look around. They, they'll probably have some nice Christmas stuff there. So, we'll have a It'll look. It'll be very festive. It will. It will. We're starting early. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are guys, and I can already see there's Christmas things in the window. Yes. Oh, yeah. 
used to love it, Nigel. I know. Well, we still come here quite often, don't we? I'm just thinking of when you're in here. I know. I could spend ages looking for Christmas <laughs> decorations. Later this month, I'm actually going to the Ideal Home Show, the Christmas edition with Keegan, oh, where it's at a massive exhibition centre with, I imagine it's like this, but for miles and yeah. miles. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's all nice. Christmas Yeah, all Christmassy. Oh. Look, I like those. Okay. Where would you hang them now? Mm, I don't know. Me and Mum love a Christmas jigsaw. Maybe we should get one of these with the dogs. Oh! We normally get something like this. Well, that is really nice. Actually, 16. I'm going to get a couple, I think. I'm going to get this one. Oh, I don't need two, do I? I like the dog ones, though. I found a nice oh, jigsaw. I love a nice Christmas jigsaw. But they've got nice dog ones as well. Look, those dogs in the village. What do you prefer? I prefer the scenes. The scenes. <laughs> <laughs> You're so less sentimental than I am. Well, I love them, but who does that many dogs? Oh, well, maybe not that one, but look, that one's cute. Yeah, that one's cute. Oh, yeah, that one's cute. The scenery and the dogs. One. Yeah, I'll give you that. that yeah? One's... Yeah, I like Should we that, get that? Actually. Yeah, I'll okay. that to this one. Oh, good. We'll get this one. Look at this, guys. This is afternoon tea. We're not here for afternoon tea, but it looks quite good. Right, should we go over to the cakes? I mean, it is only, what, 10 a.m. or something, but still. I don't like Black Forest Gatto, but that is huge. Yeah, that looks nice. Here we go, guys. Two black coffees, and then I went for a big fruit scone. You can have some of mine if you want, because Mum's not eating anything. I might have my Yeah. I'll have my porridge. Okay. Christmas cards and going, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, maybe I should buy those. Oh my gosh. This is the best chocolate bar ever. <sighs> right, guys, I think I'm gonna buy these because I have a red front door and I think that's quite cute. Mum also saw these before we went in and it looks just like my living room, except without the Christmas tree. Guys, they're three for two, so. Oh, yeah, Nan would have liked that. <laughs> Oh, but these are really pretty as well. With gold foiling. Guys, I'm so torn. There's so many nice ones. I don't have enough friends to justify buying all these. Oh, I love a good Christmas cracker. They're so pretty. They're quite expensive, though. 20 quid for six. Right, we were going to get a jigsaw, weren't we? This one. I think I'm going to get a thick one, although I don't have a candle holder for that. Are you going for a thin one? I think I like the one on the right. The one on the left's got a bit more colour. one on the... Yeah, I think I like the greeny one. What, what are these? Are they all the same design with the rocking horse? I think so. I don't really like the design, but I, maybe I should get red. The red one's prettier, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. We're now at the Christmas books, guys. Look at this one. The Chocolate Lover's Christmas. I have read the blurb. It doesn't read as good as the title, <laughs> so I won't go for that. They're all a bit romantic-y, so we were saying we're quite like a Christmas-based thriller. Can you turn that over? Oh, you, you can't. Me and Mum found this and we both went, ooh, murder. <laughs> None of this soppy love business. It was murder we got attracted to. Found another nice morbid one, Kill It in the Snow. Christmas socks. I've got enough socks, but I love Christmas socks. I like the robins. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. They look quite rustic, don't they? It looks like Ava. You're going to remove my balls? I might have to get that. Yeah, you should. That is just like Ava. I'm off to the gym, guys. It is miserable outside. It's literally so windy, and now it's chucking it down with rain. And it was all right earlier. Anyway, I'm off to my new gym, which is exciting, and I think there's nothing quite like 
a new gym to give you fresh motivation, I think. I've been a member of the same gym for like five years, and whilst I loved that gym, and I'm only moving because of practicalities, it's actually given me a new lease of life, a new motivation to be like, oh, new gym membership, gotta use it. I definitely feel in the festive spirit now that me and mum went to that garden center and saw all the Christmassy stuff and bought all those Christmas cards and Christmas things. Me and my mum like to watch Christmas movies in the mornings during winter and during the Christmas period and the evenings, but um, there's something really magical, I think, about getting up early, it's still dark outside, watching a Christmas film, having a hot chocolate or your coffee in the morning. I really like it, and that's before you start with your day. Uh, let's do this workout. Right, workout done. I am now just walking over to the range because there's a shop called The Range here and I really like it. So I thought, let's just have a little quick look inside. Got some birthdays coming up and obviously Christmas. So it's quite a good place for homewares and gifts and yeah, things like that. Guys, I'm in Christmas bedding and I'm just thinking, do I need some Christmas bedding? I think I absolutely do. Oh, I love this. It's very velvety. Giraffes are actually my favorite animal, guys. I think a few of you know that. I don't think it's public knowledge. <laughs> How much is this? It doesn't say. Oh, look, an antique book cushion. This is right up my street. I mean, I don't actually like it, but <laughs> it would be perfect if I had a study or a library and that could go on my chair, but I don't. I really like this fleecy chair. That is very cool. I really like this lamp. It's just a cream porcelain with gold edging very nice pity I don't need one I didn't actually buy anything guys but it was nice to have a browse and then I suddenly realized you know yesterday I told you about Ava's rash on her skin well I think that probably is to do with allergies she could have rubbed up against something but as we said Oscar used to have that and it was his food he's allergic to he's got sensitive skin and he's allergic to grains and wheat and stuff like that so I went into Pets at Home to have a look for some, you know, food that doesn't have allergens in it. And I found this hypoallergenic food. And this one specifically is for dogs with sensitive skin and sensitive stomach. And look what it happens to be called. <laughs> it's called Ava. That is a sign. How amazing that it's called Ava. So I'm going to try her, I bought a small bag, so I'm going to try her on this and see if this helps. It says it's gentle digestion, it's highly digestible fish protein, it's got no added grains. The thing is that Ava food, they've got it dog specific, so they've got specific food for Cocker Spaniels, for Boxers, for Border Collies, all those sorts of things. But I feel like that's a marketing ploy because it was like double the price for the same amount. And I'm pretty sure you don't need to buy breed specific food, unless it's like a really problematic breed. Um, so yeah, I got the cheaper one, let's see if this works and it clears up her skin. If it does, then she's a little princess and she's got sensitive skin and allergies. <laughs> and if it doesn't, then it probably means she's rubbed up against something and it's caused a reaction. So this dog cost me time and money, I tell you. I'm worry. I just had my first mince pie of the season, which was delicious from Riverford. Absolutely lovely. My brother Ben came round to visit, so we all just had a mince pie and a chat. We planned Christmas as well. Like the menu that we're going to have over a few days over Christmas, like the Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, the day after Boxing Day, the day after the day after Boxing Day. So yeah, we've gotten a lot of planning done, which is good. And I'm just off for a walk now, plus I'm going to nip to Asda and get a few bits for dessert tonight. Because I don't have any yogurts, and I would like a yogurt for my dessert tonight. Right, I had to just come and look at the books. Right, I think I'll get these two and see if Mum's interested in either of them. And I'll read the other one. There we go. I've got two protein yogurts and some protein ice cream, low calorie ice cream. Let's go. It's a very quiet day today, Master. Coming home is always really weird because I feel like I go back into being a child because I just thought I saw someone I went to school with who I haven't seen since I left school in 2008. So like, max 15 years ago. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I was like, oh, that looks like, let's call her Susan. I was like, that looks like Susan, but that can't be Susan because that woman looks about 30 years old and Susan's obviously like 15 and then I was like no Joel Susan's the same age as you she hasn't been stuck in a time warp she's not still 15 she's probably in her 30s now which is also terrifying and I'm like that's so weird that somewhere in my brain I still think I'm a child and I still think that all my friends that I went to school with are still like 15 years old 
but they're not, they're all my age. <laughs> they're all adults and probably lots of them have kids of their own. I'm just sat here editing guys and for the first time, what is this, day nine? And I forgot to do an outro. So here we are. This is the first time this vlog member I've had to do an outro the next day. So I'm quite proud of myself. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe. I post videos every single day at the moment for Vlogvember. Also, if you want to become a channel member, you can. I have channel memberships available, so just click join next to subscribe, and that will tell you all the info. And that is it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.